Hello YouTube, what's up? Metro here, 2012 here, coming at you with episode 19 of the Minecraft 3X project. This time I'm doing a face cam. I'm gonna see um, kind of how this goes and see if I want to do it in the future. But I figured I could still do a face cam while doing a, a voiceover of the video. So um, we're gonna give that a try today. But today we have an exciting episode because we do a little bit of everything, um, and we'll be starting out just mining up a few more resources. Um, looking for diamonds, looking for iron, uh, maybe some coal, and I know it sounds stupid, but I kind of appreciate getting coal more than diamonds, mainly because, oh, they're, speaking of diamonds, there they are, um, but the coal is super helpful to me because I can make glass, and more importantly, I can make, um, stone out of cobblestone, which I can then turn into the kind of stone that I use, um, on my castle, so... As I'm trying to build the castle, diamonds aren't as useful to me as something like coal. Because diamonds look nice, but they don't make stone and they don't make torches, which I'm also running low on torches. So um, there's kind of trade-offs there, it's kind of weird. I'm, I'll happily take diamonds if I can find them, but oddly enough this episode I find more diamonds than I do coal, so I guess I figured out the correct level to be looking for uh, with Link for Diamonds because there's some more right there. Like, I, I just found a really good vein, I guess, of where diamonds and iron are, but uh, my luck kind of runs out there. I don't find any coal, which is what I'm really, really after. <clears throat> so moving forward, I just keep hammering in on this, this mine shaft. Um, again, looking for coal, but it's just, it's just not my day when it comes to that, so just gonna keep working keep working keep working and I'm placing torches um, roughly every 10 squares um, that's just my OCD thing kicking in um, it seems to be lighting it equally throughout but if I do have mob spawn I'll have to put some more torches in there but torches are kind of a kind of a limited resource uh, in my world and then if you guys remember from last episode I had a few mobs spawn in that general mining area so I'm gonna look for a solution for that later on in this episode as well so here we go putting the limited coal that I found to use just separating it out into four different furnaces um, rather than just putting all 64 coal in one furnace and all 64 cobblestone in one serve uh, furnace I like to mix it up um, just put like maybe six six coal and 64 cobblestone in each one um, it it does a good chunk um, of of the cobblestone usually takes about um, 40 cobblestone from just the six coal so it's a really good way of getting it all as fast as possible um, and if you have a lot of furnaces you can split it up even further that way so if you're trying to get um, stone or if you're trying to get glass in a hurry that's the best way of doing it is splitting it up amongst all your furnaces um, so you just simply right click uh, when taking your coal from your inventory to take half the stack and put it on there and then you can right click again um, take half the stack off if you only want to put a quarter and so on so on so um, different little tricks uh, you can use along the way um, to better what's going on in your Minecraft world and I was starting to run out of space in my chest, so I, I kind of decided I have to build, I had to build another one. And there wasn't any room for upstairs. Um, I'm going to be putting some more in the castle once it's completed, but as of right now, the castle is not completed. Sorry, I'm just moving my webcam software. <coughs> and like I said, a little bit of everything. We started out in the mine shaft. Now we're going to get some sheep wool. And I think it's a good idea for me to start getting looking at getting this because uh, once the castle is starting to move along I'm gonna want some colored colored blocks places whether it's white black or I believe I only have cyan right now but um, if I can find some ingredients to make other dyes I'm going to be doing so but I'd like to be making some different like carpets and hallways and like rooms and stuff like that and maybe like um, the top of the, the watchtower um, again let me let me know what you guys think I should do um, for kind of a top of watchtower, I I saved some images that I will display on the screen now of just some some quick little ideas of like some kind of things that I can do. So if you guys want in the comments, just let me know which one you like. I'll put some numbers up there too, so that you can vote on which idea you think is really good. So 
If you do see an idea you really like, please leave in the comments that's a good idea and you want to see it. Uh, especially if you want to see my thought process going about how to do it. Um, so if you see a picture and you're like, oh man, I really want to do that, but I don't really know how, please let me know because I will be learning how to do it and do it myself. So um, I, I can teach you how to do it through these videos. Just all I need is your participation and then we can do that. So so we did do, do the mining already, got some sheep wool, and now we're heading down into my mine shaft to solve the lighting issue so that mobs don't spawn everywhere. So my idea was to put some just wooden pillars that match the floor. Um, I was kind of debating on how many to put in but I ended up deciding on putting two in and just moving them a little closer to each other. So there'll be four total pillars that each have two torches on them. Uh, eventually I could add more torches but like I said they're kind of a hot, hot commodity uh, in this Minecraft world right now because for the life of me I can't find coal. <laughs> um, once I do find more coal again, then I'll be able to make more stone, have more glass, and more importantly, have more torches. So, um, for right now, we're just going to have to do with what we have, and <laughs> I messed up so bad doing this, and usually I have some dirt that I can just throw down so I can, like, go towards the ceiling, but I didn't, so I had to actually put the wood down, and it took me a while to actually get this right, sadly. I mean, it wasn't that hard of a task for me to do, but it took me a lot longer than it should have. So we're going to go ahead. Go ahead get these pillars in, throw some torches on them. I did put them at the same level the other torches were at, which I think is really kind of cool. Um, because I could have just put them at ground level, but then again, there's this, those little detailed things that I like to do that uh, make me a little more happy. And I was very surprised to come up and see that it was nighttime already, because I thought it was very recent that I went to bed, but I guess I don't make the time cycle in this game, so I couldn't tell you. It could be that I went to bed really late at night, the last night, so it just shot me into the morning pretty far. Um, so right now I'm heading out and I have enough blocks to keep working on this castle wall. So I haven't decided yet which side is going to be the front, if I want the front to be facing the cabin, or if I, like, by the time I get all the walls done, uh, I, I see one front facing part that's just going to work a little bit better. So. Um, I think I'm going to wait until I have all the walls and watchtowers done and then I'm going to decide which side is going to be the front because once it's all completed it's going to be a lot easier to tell what has the the prettier front or like see where the sun sets so I can have it set on the back side to take some nice screenshots or something. I don't know. Like, There's going to be a lot of things to consider so if anybody knows a good idea of like what side to put the gate on. Um, let me know. I really, I really have no idea. Or if you want to do something like see a moat around the castle, or really, honestly, any suggestions, I'm open to. Um, not saying I'll definitely go ahead and do that, especially if it's something very difficult. But um, I am more than willing to listen to suggestions and possibly implement them into the video. So I just keep going up higher and higher on this wall. Um, the the three blocks over and two blocks high is the best strategy I found to do it fast. Um, I'm just going to clear some area around here, but essentially what I did is I decided to just keep working on this wall instead of using all my blocks on the other wall because I kind of want to see like how long the wall goes and then oh, this is going to be awful, but I'm going to have to count how many, how many blocks wide I went and then make sure it's the exact same uh, for the other wall, but I want to get a good feel for how long it actually has to be to look like a castle wall. So I'm taking a, a longer look at it and it looks like it's about honestly about halfway done. So like it's gonna be a really long castle wall I can tell you that much. And I went back to my uh, beef pen to hopefully get some more food and realize that last time I slaughtered them all. So if you want to see that episode um, of what a slaughterhouse looks like I went in and killed a whole bunch of cows. But uh, I'm trying to get them back up to normal. But definitely heading back into the sheep pens just to collect that wool one more time. Like I said, I'm going to be needing it later. So I figured I'd go for one more round of wool and then also create more blue sheep babies. Because there aren't that many blue sheep in my pen right now. Um, but I do have a lot of black and white. Uh, so going to work on getting that. And then I saw these two pigs here and I thought I could probably get them in a pen, but then I realized that you don't lure them with wheat because it's been a long time since I played Minecraft and I, for whatever reason, didn't think about that. 